Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video we will see the conversion of JSON format to CSV format. I am Mohammad Akib working as a MuleSoft certified developer and integration architect. So let's move on and see how this works. Basically the main goal that I want to show you is that we have a customers.json file and we want to convert this file to CSV. We will drop this file to input folder and within out, output folder we will be able to see a customer.csv file. So let's get ahead and start with AnyPoint Studio. So once we open AnyPoint Studio we can come to the file and create new project and we can name it as JSON to CSV or whatever name you want to give. Let's just click finish. So the project has been created over here. Now you see this uh, flow, message flow where we need to pull a few of the components. So let's just pull one of the component on file and this is on file okay on new or updated file so what we want to do it is that uh, we want to configure a folder whenever a json file is dropped into that folder it processes in mule and converts the data to csv so let's just configure this first let's click uh, connector configuration and click connection and just select the working directory so we want to say that working directory should be this input we want to put this uh, our we want to put uh, this file uh, let me just show you let me okay just let's configure this I will show you the file select this input okay so whenever the file is placed to this input input folder so it will be processed in mule and will convert the data to csv format now let's click the directory that we want to work on so it should be again input and okay so just click say uh, just press control s and uh, we want to select this as fixed frequency so after every five seconds it should be reading the directory if the file exists or not right okay <clears throat> now let's uh, pick the logger and we can we can just write at conversion to csv in progress save and then drag this transform message and here we can just say as application underscore csv as we want to have it as csv this file to be processed in csv and we can also say that header equals to true which means that uh, csv file will be generated with the headers and what we want to convert to CSV whatever the payload we are receiving okay let's now add another component and that component is from file connector we want to tag write component is we want to write a file as a CSV after this transform transformation okay let's configure this connector select the directory yes we want to put the csv file in output okay and select this copy this path and paste over here and just write the file name in the end customers.csv and let the other settings be as they are So we have just saved this project 
and let's add another logger after this right component and we can just write here conversion from JSON to CSV is completed control S to save it let's now run this project and see how this works So let's move this uh, fold JSON to CSV and just we need to copy this file control C and we will be placing this file in input folder let's see if the project is deployed so this is initializing and this has been deployed now so let's put the file in input folder and as we just configured that it will be reading the files in five seconds let's see if we have any files yes we just received this file as well customers.csv file let's see what's going on in this flow okay so this is continuously running it is every five seconds it is running and it is reading that file and converting and overwriting that file so we can just make one more change over here that after this file has been processed we can move this to another directory we can configure in the other directory and that can be archived so that it doesn't process every time save so this has been the change has been processed and the project is restarted now you see that we are not getting any more logs over here so what happens in input file there is in input folder there is no file now as this has been processed and moved to archive folder json file and if we see this file okay open with we can open this file with uh, notepad and check how it is yes we have got this csv file so whatever json file we passed it has processed in MuleSoft and converted it to CSV file. You can see this header as well as we kept this header as true. So this brings end of video session. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you don't miss out such exciting videos in future. Thank you so much for watching.